What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and right here I have a solar garden light and I took out the stake but it stopped working. This lasted just over a year and this is actually a good garden light. It's around I think 18 or $20 I paid but this is a really good one because you can hit different settings where you have dim, medium and bright and the solar panel is really effective as a slim design everything sealed very well but somehow moisture still got in it is florida and we have some nasty thunderstorms so i'm going to try to repair this and show you guys that it's possible to fix these things so let's go ahead and try to repair it this is a wow stick by the way if you guys are interested in the wow stick check out the link in the video description below So I'm just using a pry tool and I'm going to pry out the light and the circuit board and see if there's any moisture or tarnish or rust or bad connections that I need to address. Now after opening it up, it looks like there is moisture inside somehow. So I'm just going to unplug it from the solar panel and see if there's anything that I can fix. Now usually any kind of connections can have moisture and rust cause a bad connection. So I'm using electronic spray and trying to clean up any kind of tarnish or corrosion. And testing it right now with the lights off. You have to test it with the lights off because there is a sensor that detects the light. It only turns on at night, remember. So I'm hitting that switch and nothing's turning on, so it's got to be something else. I'm going to try to find out if it does have voltage, and it does, 3.7. So it should turn on with that voltage. And now I'm going to check and see if the voltage is getting transferred through the cable connection. And it looks like it's dropping. So I'm going to clean these contacts and check the wiring and see if it's the wiring or the connections. Now some of these solder joints look tarnished so I'm gonna clean them up a little bit with fresh solder see if that helps. So from the battery to the circuit board, I'm getting the voltage, but from the connectors onto the circuit board, from the wiring, I am losing voltage. So I'm getting rid of the connector altogether, cutting it off, and now I'm soldering the wires straight onto the board, eliminating the connector. Hopefully I won't have a connection issue now.
So I'm right here. I'm going to test it out and see if it works. And remember, I have to turn off the lights to test it. Turn off the lights and hopefully when I hit the switch, it'll turn on. Oh, boom. Works. So it was a connection issue, which makes sense because there was moisture inside of the garden lamp or garden light. Oh, I fixed it. And now I have a bunch more to fix because they all have the same issue. If you guys found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this coming your, your way, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And share this video to anyone that has a garden light.